For every three TVs sold worldwide, one comes from China. It's a nation that has turned its massive population into a workforce powering giant assembly lines that run day and night. Behind those steel walls lies a hidden world, where glass sheets thinner than paper, LEDs smaller than grains of rice, and millions of tiny circuits are assembled with flawless precision. All of it comes together to create a sleek yet powerful entertainment machine. And today, we're stepping inside one of China's largest TV factories to witness how this country has risen to become a true technology powerhouse on the global stage. China's success doesn't just come from massive assembly lines or breakneck production speeds. It also stems from a strategy of fully leveraging cheap labor. For decades, they observed, copied, and then improved upon Western technology before rolling it out in mass production at a fraction of the cost. Thanks to this approach, in a global market where more than 231.2 million color TVs are sold each year, one out of every three carries the label Made in China. Faster, cheaper, yet still good enough to reach millions of households. By contrast, in the United States, electronics giants pour resources into research and innovation, building premium brands. American products are usually more expensive, designed to emphasize durability and unique user experience rather than sheer volume. Two development paths that seem to diverge, yet it's precisely this contrast that has shaped the global landscape. So the question remains, which path will define the future of the electronics industry? From the black and white TVs of the mid 20th century to the arrival of color technology in the 1960s, television quickly transformed into a vibrant medium. By the 1990s, flat screens opened a new era, turning the TV into the centerpiece of the living room. In the early 2000s, LED TVs appeared, thinner, more energy efficient, and sharper than ever before. But the real turning point came with smart TVs. That slim box was no longer just for watching shows. It could connect to the internet, download apps, and become the hub of family entertainment. Today, with 4K and even 8K resolution paired with ultra-slim designs, televisions have become a familiar presence, found in hundreds of millions of homes across the globe. In China, before a TV ever rolls off the assembly line, its journey doesn't begin with steel or glass, but with data. Tech companies here place huge emphasis on market research, where every consumer trend is collected and carefully analyzed. They know that the spacious living rooms of American homes often call for massive screens that deliver a theater-like experience. By contrast, in Asia's crowded cities, small apartments push consumers to favor compact designs that save space while still packing in all the features. These differences shape every production decision, from screen size, 4K or 8K resolution, and voice control integration, to how well the TV connects with smart home systems. Millions of data points, from online surveys and customer feedback to retail trends, become the foundation for engineers. From there, they draft blueprints, build 3D models, and prepare for manufacturing, where ideas are finally brought to life on giant industrial lines. From the blueprint, the journey of manufacturing begins with the most important part of the TV, the screen. Inside massive, clean rooms, dust and humidity are kept under the strictest control because even a single particle could ruin an entire panel worth hundreds of dollars. Two ultra-thin sheets of glass polished to absolute flatness are placed onto the line and pressed together like a sandwich. In between lies the liquid crystal layer, the key element that determines how each pixel lights up or changes color according to electrical signals. On the surface of the first glass sheet, millions of microscopic transistors are arranged with precision, resembling a miniature city, each one acting like a tiny switch that controls the light. On the second sheet, engineers apply red, green, and blue color filters. These three primary colors, when combined at different intensities, produce millions of unique shades bringing images to life with vivid and natural detail. To ensure that light is guided with total accuracy, polarizing films are attached to both the front and back of the panel, directing the path of every beam. When all the layers are fused in perfect harmony, the lightweight LCD panel is born, containing millions of synchronized pixels. 
ready to serve as the gateway that brings the visual world back to life on the television screen. Yet the LCD panel itself cannot shine on its own. Those millions of tiny pixels would remain dark without a hidden partner, the LED backlight. This invisible system placed directly behind the glass is what transforms the silent panel into a canvas of vibrant images. On the sprawling assembly lines, human hands still play a vital role. Workers carefully mount strips of LEDs along the frame's edges, each one positioned to guarantee that light spreads evenly to every corner of the screen. These LEDs are astonishingly small, no bigger than a grain of rice, yet powerful enough to illuminate the entire display. Each is soldiered firmly onto an aluminum sheet, which doubles as a heat sink to keep the lights cool during continuous operation. Once secured, the raw light they emit is still too harsh and uneven. To solve this, it passes through a sheet of transparent plexiglass, which diffuses and scatters the beams eliminating hot spots and shadows. The process doesn't end there. Layers of optical films are stacked on top, fine-tuning brightness and balancing colors so that the final glow appears uniform and natural. When the backlight is finally married to the LCD panel, the transformation is complete. A once lifeless sandwich of glass and liquid crystal is now able to display brilliant, moving pictures. At this point, the TV's visual heart is ready its screen prepared to open a window into entire worlds. When the LCD screen and LED backlight are complete, the TV is still just a silent display. It can glow with light, but it cannot yet produce sound or transform pixels into moving images. To bring it to life, electronic circuit boards, the heart and brain of the device must be carefully assembled. It is here that billions of signals are processed turning light and sound into a full experience. On the assembly line, technicians stand in long rows, each handling a precise task. With quick, steady hands, they place tiny components onto bare circuit boards. Transistors, capacitors, resistors, processors, and countless connectors. Every piece is like a microscopic puzzle tile that, when joined, forms a complex network of control. This network decides how images appear, how sound is delivered, and how instantly the TV responds when a button on the remote is pressed. Once the parts are in place, the board passes through a bath of molten solder. Bright, even joints appear, strong enough to guarantee stable power flow without short circuits or breaks. Yet human oversight remains vital. Workers peer through magnifying lenses, scanning each pathway to eliminate even the smallest potential flaw, because one defective connection could stop the entire system. When the board passes inspection, it is fastened to the frame with small screws, then linked directly to the LCD screen and backlight. Flat ribbon-like cables connect everything into a seamless network. On the main board, HDMI, USB, and LAN ports are added, serving as gateways for the TV to communicate with the outside world. At last, all the elements, screen, backlight, and circuitry come together. The once lifeless mix of glass and plastic has transformed into a smart machine, ready to display vivid images, project sound, and connect to the internet, turning silence into a hub of home entertainment. After the circuit board has been perfectly aligned with the LCD screen and LED backlight, the television is still not truly complete. It needs one final layer, a protective armor to shield the delicate inner structure from shocks, dust, and the mechanical stresses of transport. This crucial step takes place in the high-pressure molding area, where plastic is shaped with incredible accuracy. The front cover, side bezels, and back panel are formed to be both strong enough to protect the sensitive components inside and light enough for workers to handle and move with ease. When the parts arrive at the final assembly stage, precision becomes everything. Each piece is carefully positioned adjusted down to the smallest fraction so it locks seamlessly with the circuits and fragile display within. Screws, clips, and thermal welds secure every connection, fusing the separate elements into a single, solid unit. Even the tiniest misalignment, just a few millimeters, could create uneven pressure on the screen, causing it to warp or even crack. That's why every movement here is measured, deliberate, and exact. As the outer shell closes around the core, 
the transformation reaches its peak. What was once a fragile collection of glass, circuits, and wires is now housed in a sturdy body, designed to withstand the challenges of daily use. The TV no longer looks like a work in progress. It appears whole, polished, and ready. Each detail has been secured with care, ensuring durability, stability, and the promise of a vivid, uninterrupted experience for the user. The protective frame not only finishes the look, it guarantees that the technology within can perform at its very best for years to come. It may seem like the TV is finished, but before it can be certified and shipped, it must pass a series of strict quality tests. The process begins with image inspection, the factor that defines the user experience. The entire screen is scanned by ultra-high resolution cameras and highly sensitive optical sensors, capable of detecting the tiniest dead pixels, those that stay permanently dark or lit, disrupting the uniformity of the picture. The system also measures brightness consistency across the surface, spotting areas that are too bright, too dim, or showing light bleed. Color tests are then carried out using gradient scales, standard color charts, and fast-moving video sequences, assessing tone reproduction, color accuracy, and smoothness in transitions. Every detail, from vivid reds to deep blues, is scrutinized because even the slightest deviation can diminish the viewing experience. Next comes audio testing. Speakers and signal paths are pushed through a wide range of frequencies, from deep bass to sharp treble, and run for extended periods to ensure the sound remains clear, free of distortion or buzzing. Specialized microphones capture the output and compare it against technical standards, guaranteeing every channel functions correctly, from soft background music to explosive action scenes. Alongside this, the entire electronic circuitry and connections undergo thorough review. Engineers use industrial magnifiers and advanced measuring equipment to check solder joints, signal pathways, and component performance, eliminating risks of short circuits, broken lines, or parts operating beyond their limits. Every detail, no matter how small, must meet absolute precision requirements. Finally, endurance tests begin. TVs are powered on and off thousands of times, operated inside chambers that simulate extreme temperatures and humidity, and even subjected to strong vibrations to mimic the stresses of shipping. Only after surviving all these challenges does the television earn its certification seal, proving it is ready to leave the factory floor and make its way into the market. After passing every rigorous inspection, the TV is still just a lifeless piece of hardware. To transform it into a truly smart device, the final step on the factory floor is loading the software. Workers connect each unit to specialized computers that install the operating system along with basic applications. This digital brain allows the TV not only to display images and produce sound, but also to connect to the internet, open platforms like YouTube or Netflix, and link with other devices in the home ecosystem. Engineers then run a series of functional checks. They test how quickly the remote responds, measure the stability of the Wi-Fi connection, and verify the TV's ability to run multiple apps smoothly. The interface is inspected for speed, clarity, and ease of use ensuring that the system feels intuitive for the user. Only when every feature operates seamlessly, from connectivity to navigation, can the television officially earn the name Smart TV, a complete entertainment hub ready to be packaged and shipped to households around the world. With assembly and inspections complete, the TV enters the final stage of its journey, preparing to leave the factory. Workers place each unit into molded foam frames with every corner tightly secured to minimize vibration during transport. The body of the TV is then wrapped in anti-static bags and protective plastic film, ensuring the surface remains free from scratches and safe from environmental impact. Next, the sets are packed into multi-layered cartons, sturdy boxes clearly printed with batch numbers, QR codes, and production dates, allowing precise and efficient tracking throughout the supply chain. Accessories such as the remote control, power cord and user manual are neatly arranged inside, guaranteeing that every package reaches the customer complete. These cartons are stacked onto pallets, wrapped in stretch film, and moved to central warehouses. From there, thousands of containers are loaded and shipped out, traveling by road, sea, and air, 
to every corner of the globe. By the time a TV arrives in someone's living room, it represents more than an electronic device. It is the product of a vast industrial engine where hundreds of people, machines, and tightly coordinated processes work together to achieve perfection in every unit. Behind that fragile shell lies an entire technological engine, from clean rooms assembling screens, to workers placing each tiny LED, to microscopic circuit boards and intelligent software. China has turned its labor force and scale into a massive production machine, supplying hundreds of millions of TVs to the world. But the question remains, will speed alone be enough to hold its position against nations that focus on innovation and branding? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you'd like to explore more behind the scenes stories of the machines we live with every day, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you won't miss the next journey.